Uh, hello everyone, this is Andam the head of Job with Enstar Technologies. Uh, today I will be showing you how to upgrade um, Einstein's of CP Server 2014 to 2016. Um, so let's let's get to it. Um, if you have your installation file uh, like I did my 2016, I will be on the 2014 Enterprise Edition uh, 2016. Now um, this is a task you could be doing, you could be doing a, a work as part of say an in-place upgrade or maybe you're migrating to a new piece of part of like a migration, maybe you're testing out new features uh, for a new version. So there's different scenarios where you could be doing this at your place of work. Um, and cool story about this is also, this is also um, an assignment that I gave to my uh, students, um, my database um, students. Uh, this is one of the um, introductory assignments that I give them. Um, so if you're still watching this, well, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, so let's let's get to it. So in your um, setup file, you see the setup um, the exe file. Go ahead and right click and run as administrator. Now, if you've seen my previous videos on installation, I explained why this is important. Um, but a quick recap for you: to install SQL Server, you need to have administrator level privileges on the server where you're doing the new instance. Right, it's a prerequisite. Now if let's assume you're a contractor on a piece of work, you might not have admin level privileges. However, there will normally be like an account set up dedicated for doing installation. When you do a right click and run as administrator, it opens up a dialog box and lets you specify the credentials you want to use for installation. Um, that's just good practice. Um, it's always embarrassing when you double click and then <laughs> it fails or something. Alright, so now that we have this um, installation set up to the left, you see that we have installation. Uh, we're not doing any of this, we're going to do an upgrade. So go to upgrade for previous version, select that option. Uh, let's try to check for update. I will check that just to make it easy. I'm trying to get to this quickly. Um, again, I will, I'm still going to do my patching and update myself, so let's just skip that. Hit next. Still check on it. Now just going through its initial setup file check. Uh, that's going to go with it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so everything is good. I'll click next. See your product is already pre populated or it's going to be accessible to your video, so um, you're good with that way. So I'll next. I'll accept. Um, never have I ever seen any database administrators that went to read the entire thing. If you have time, you can go ahead and knock yourself out. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Alright, so I'll accept and I hit next. And I'll choose the instance I want to upgrade. Um, and star class 3 is the one I asked my students to upgrade, so I'll use that as my example today. So I'll select that and I'll hit next. Again, you notice you can only do you can only upgrade one instance at a time. You can do multiple. When you're patching, you can patch multiple instances. But when you're doing an upgrade, you have to do it one instance at a time. So you can update multiple instances at a time, but you can only upgrade one instance at a time. That makes sense. Alright, now because we're doing an upgrade, you see that this um, feature selection area is all grayed out. We're not changing any features, we're not adding, subtracting, we're just upgrading what's already there. That's why it's the way it is. Alright, I'll go ahead and hit next. And again, this is instead of upgrading and all of the shenanigans, I'll um, go ahead and hit next. Again, I am not changing any credentials, I'm using a default account, um, so I'll keep going with it. Anyway. Again, because this is just a, a demo, and I'm not using a specific service account, so that, that's why I'm doing all this as well. Alright, and this is a summary of everything that will be happening. Again, you can read through if you want, and what I feel good since I didn't make any changes, I'll go ahead and hit on here. And literally, this will run for the next 5 to maybe 7 minutes. I'll be done. 
Uh, but that's really the process for doing your upgrades. You read this out once it's done, you'll be able to go back in, you can check your build numbers and validate that it's been updated um, correctly. Alright, let me pause this and so I don't record all this empty space. Alright, so um, upgrade is done. And yes, there's a feature that failed, but that's, um, that's no big deal. Um, you can always go back and visit to see, investigate to see why that failed. Um, but as long as you have those core services running, then hopefully it's successful. Alright, uh, well, you can definitely open up your management studio and validate. Let's see if I can uh, find. Let me open up SQL Server. Let me go ahead and close this out while I'm not even going to click it. Again, just to validate what we've done. Now, normally when you do a new installation of a... Of, I don't know what that is, I think. Um, whenever you do a new installation of 2016, it doesn't come with managers to do by default. Um, and so you, you you might you might have to install the management studio but because i have a previous installation of uh, 2014 i can't use the same um, installation of management studio to administer all the versions of sql server that i have done all right so insta class show the instance i updated so i'm going to connect to that and so now you can see the build number is 13.0, 13 point is, that's, that's a 2016 build number. And you can also go into this with the properties of the instance. Let's put this in here. Again, just to see where we are. So, recommendation is, we've done the installation, go ahead and do the patching, and we have a functional um, instance of SQL Server. I hope you found this helpful. Um, thank you and goodness for the day. I'll talk to you soon.